I'm just going to take you through how to complete the private fees guide survey online. It may be more convenient for you, it's certainly more convenient for us because all the results are collated automatically, but we will be sending out the printed version anyway, uh, this is 6th of November, so you should get that within, within before about the 13th. The closing date for both the online version and the printed versions are the 15th of January. You'll save a stamp if you fill it out online. We need as many replies as we can to make sure we get a representative sample and please don't leave it until the 14th of January to send it in, although online you probably could do that, but we'd be very grateful if you could just um, get, get it out of the way and um, send it back and so we get um, as many replies as we can as soon as we can. So let's get started. I'm on the Dental Fusion website. It's dentalfusion.org and on the front page here you can see that there's a link that says complete the private fees guide survey online closing date 15th of January. So what you can do is you can click on that and the private fees guide will come up. So if I um, just zoom out a bit there you'll see you'll see the actual guide itself but that what you're doing is you're looking at the version on the web. Now what we need to do is actually download that. So there are two ways of doing that. You can either um, download it from here but the simpler way is just to go back to where I was and right click that's press the right mouse button on that and click save link as and what it'll do is it will, it will save the guide which is linked uh, and you can save it anywhere but I'm going to stick it on my desktop there so we'll just save it there now it doesn't take long to download it's a very small file and once you've downloaded it you can open it up and what you'll do is you'll see pretty much the same thing you'll uh, open it in Adobe Reader and I've got this open in Adobe Acrobat so this is the local copy of the questionnaire that you're now filling in so um, it's pretty simple all the fields that need to be filled in are in blue now you don't have to fill them all in and there may be one or two that you can't but but the more you can fill in obviously the better for us the couple of things that we do need are your GDC number uh, and your hourly rate and, and really if you don't do anything else at all please do those two at least because those those two are, are, are the least um, that we need to make any sense of what you're sending us back now in terms of filling things in the quickest way to do it is just to press tab because if you you can press tab and move between the fields that need to be filled in very quickly in fact if I zoom in a bit you may be able to see that a bit more easily uh, and in fact if you press shift tab you can move backwards through the fields so you, you can see there that we can move through the fields extremely quickly we don't need uh, the pound sign or anything so you can press 5 and that's we understand that that's 5 pounds you don't need to put 5.00 either because although it will accept that really that's just more work for you um, so if something is uh, £6.50 for example just put 6.5 and then the computer will, will look after the maths now obviously uh, you can work your way down and when you get down to the bottom here um, I'm just putting these figures in at random so don't read anything into what I'm doing it will take you back up to the top on the right hand side where you can carry on um, putting in putting in figures and then finally eventually obviously you'll get down to the bottom right hand side now if uh, let's say uh, 25 pounds for repair now if you don't do implants then don't worry just leave it blank and then finally you'll come to the submit button when you click on the submit button it will ask if you're um, happy to send it off to Adobe Form Central who's collating all this for us uh, you don't have to do that for all PDF documents so you can untick that just click allow and then what will happen is that will upload the form to our uh, form handler and you'll get a message like this saying Su submission successful thank you for completing the form now at that point that's really all you need to do you can sit back then and wait for the um, December magazine to come through which it will do in uh, on the 1st of December and in fact once the closing dates passed of the 15th of January we're going to incorporate the new the 2014-2015 private fees guide into the uh, and send it out with the February magazine so you'll be getting that around about the 1st of February which is about two weeks after the closing date um, to try and make sure that we get a representative sample of the 2014 fees and not necessarily the old 2013 fees so um, that's it for this short video. Thanks very much. If you do send it back, we are going to try and do something a little bit special for people who send them back because um, you know you do go the extra mile for us. So we're going to be giving priority to people who do return the forms. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. You might be able to get someone else to do it for you. If you have any queries, then just give us a ring on 0203 286 1336. That's 0203 286 1336. 
and uh, if you you know if you're not sure about a fee or something this is what normally happens that people sort of tend to cross out what we've written and put down what they do obviously that's not very helpful because then that figure has to be left out of the analysis so um, please just try and put down a representative fee a typical fee you know even if you don't do exactly what we do just sort of try and give us an idea of what you would charge for that but it's pretty basic and so I think that you should find that most of what this does is is what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis uh, once again any questions give us a ring and thanks in advance